Good day, good day. How the Hulk are you today? Boy, have I got something for you today on a one-off Wednesday. Yeah, check this out. Uh, now, normally I do just uh, one. I've only got one of it. But today <laughs> I've got a, something a little bit interesting. Uh, I, I'm going to tag up here, uh, right, right up here. Yeah, right up there. I think that's going to show up here. <laughs> the unboxing video that I got this. Ba-bam! Look at this beauty. Well, we, I, oh my goodness. I tell you, if it wasn't for the love of Land Rovers, I don't know what I would do. But anyway, we're going to take a look at this one later. But I just got this. It's loose. It's out of the package. It's glorious, it's grand, and it is a real toy. Yeah, company real toy. Holy cow. So anyway, this is what I have for real toy. Now, a lot of these, and it's just a, such a big, these are uh, play sets, uh, mainly car wash play sets, and uh, we're going to take a look at those, but these are the true blue uh uh real toy and uh boy i tell you if this <laughs> it's just totally i'm just totally out of my element here because these things are so big and in the package it's crazy so i finally got one loose so i could finally do this uh now this is a uh hot zone and from what i understand or from what i I bought these at KB Toys. Now, KB Toys used to be a uh, toy uh, store that was in uh, shopping malls and stuff like that. I think uh, 90s, 2000, they were pretty popular. They went out of business. And uh, funny thing was, uh, I find out later that the guys that did uh, KB Toys uh, went and they started... Dollar Tree, which, by the way, I happened to work for Dollar Tree as a store manager for a while. But anyway, yeah, they, they quit this company or they sold out and then they said, hey, I bet you we could sell stuff for a dollar. So anyway, that's a little bit of history on uh, KB Toys, but they're no longer around. But they had gotten, uh, I believe, uh, Hot Zone might have been their brand. I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, but as you saw in this package here, this is a real toy, uh, international uh, LTD uh, toy, and what we're going to look at is the um, the uh, discovery in them. And uh, now I want you to take a note uh, of the wheels here. Now this is just a, a regular uh, dark brown, uh, dark green. I can see. I'm not color blind. <laughs> dark green color uh, and. And just interesting. These kind of mimic the um, Hot Wheels uh, old Range Rover. Uh, Range Rover came with the construction wheels. They kind of mimic that with the hubcap there. So very kind of cool. Uh, you can see that this uh, five pack here was uh, $3.99. That was the regular price. So they were kind of a discount um, brand and uh, did very well. This is the only one I had of that. All right, the next thing, uh, also, this is, most of these are from KB Toys. Uh, this one, you can see uh, $9.99, and uh, this is the Car Wash Hot Zone, again, the same um, uh, name brand, I guess, per se. And uh, we're going to flip this around here if we can. Boy, this, this packaging is so big, I had to redo my... Uh, my studio here so I could do it on the desk here manufactured by real toy internationals limited yep out of China so 2004 okay so that gives us a little bit of date um, I don't know if this one had uh, yeah this is this is 2004 too you eagle-eyed guys probably saw that already but anyway <laughs> here you go uh, so yeah the mid 2000s they were going on uh, hot stuff and uh, just a nice nice picture there I'm trying to zoom in on this uh, nice uh, discovery and it's got sport on there and uh, just really kind of cool now it's interesting that um, 
this one and the next one are practically the same vehicles in there if we can get the glare off of them but same vehicles but totally different packaging but uh once again we're gonna take a look at those uh kind of knockoff I, I really do kind of knockoff from the uh hot wheels 90s uh construction wheels very very nice i would like to have one of these out of the package i don't have one of these uh like i said and it, it, it's it kills me i was so pumped when i finally got to buy that one off of ebay so there you go that's the other one now you can see that this is action city car wash uh, same same <laughs> it's practically the same packaging they took a little bit different picture uh, angle maybe they just changed the background from uh, this red to uh, to to the blue here but uh, yeah like I say the same thing but action city car wash and this is got uh, the real toy badging right on it there and once again same pricing 9.99 and same cars and everything just totally totally awesome you know once again but see now this has got a little bit different tires on it wheels on it they uh i don't know star spoke i guess you know is what you could call it but uh yeah same car just different wheels i don't know if we could get those in the same shot or not but yeah just different wheels so that's kind of neat uh different packaging different um wheels but same same car let's see if we can flip this around too so you can kind of see what's going on here so just kind of uh yeah like i say they just they, you know these guys they're they're so good at uh oh there you can see real big time here uh real toy they're really good at just repackaging stuff you know it's kind of basically the same packaging too you know with the window and everything they just printed it different which you know how much does that you know really cost the company to um you know just redo the font or whatever and print some more stuff they don't have to do any more box die cutting or anything like that so uh, really kind of cool so interesting um let's see if this one had a date on it too i don't I don't believe this one had a date on it but uh just just really kind of cool i like that uh variation in a variation but uh let's see if we can tuck that back over there without damaging or upsetting the whole place well that's not gonna work <laughs> like i said these are pa these are huge packages you know uh let's let's grab the ruler here real quick uh you know they're over 12 inches long uh what are they yeah about 16 by uh 11 12 yeah so they're pretty big uh three inches deep or so so here you go this is another one i've got another video about kid connection and a different uh knockoff discovery and uh, i don't know if i can uh hit that video up here too uh we'll see <laughs> but anyway this is another one and this came from Walmart. Now, this is this normally is a Walmart brand. Uh, Kid Connection is a Walmart brand, and uh, different uh, gas uh, car wash, but it's it's a car wash, different one, uh, deluxe play set. But then you can see that uh, we've got the Discovery in there again with another different pair of wheels than uh, the the last two. So. I know this is so hard, but you can see there that they are totally, totally different. Yeah, totally different. So, <laughs> all right, let's uh, try to flip this around without taking down anything. And, uh, yeah, see what we can do here. Deluxe, there it is, Deluxe Vehicle Playset. And uh, no uh, pictures of the uh, vehicles in this one. They, they uh, got smart, I guess, and... Uh, here it's got race cars in here, a Porsche, and I don't know, that's a, looks like a NASCAR race car there, but a uh, little car wash, but no, no cars depicted in the playset, so I suppose that uh, then they could put anything and everything that they wanted to in this uh, six car play car set, you know, so pretty cool, pretty cool. 
All right, well, let's uh, readjust the camera here so we can take a little bit closer look at uh, this bugger here on the table, all right? All right, here we are. We've got a uh, close-up look and the uh, lights adjusted so we can take a look at this bugger here. Uh, like I say, this is a real toy made in China. We saw the packaging, we saw the different uh, wheel variations and stuff, and uh, just a really awesome, awesome, I, I've had these for quite a while since uh, I bought these. I bought these in the store, KB Toys, that was in La Crosse, which was, uh, you know, I lived in Toma, so, you know, 45 minutes away, so I didn't get there a lot, but um, here we go. I finally got one loose, and it is a crazy, crazy, awesome, awesome uh, Rally Auto Works uh, deco to it. Uh, I was looking at this and trying, I trying to Google, man, you know how hard it is to Google this stuff. You can't find anything at all. And the only pictures I really found were, uh, some of this, uh, one right here. Uh, just, uh, this must be a pretty common one. Cause that was all the pictures that were posted on, uh, on Google images and stuff. But anyway, looking at this and trying to find information and pulling off, uh, the letters and the words and the sponsors trying to find any more uh, details about this uh, vehicle. Um, I couldn't find much at all. Matter of fact, I could not find another picture of this on the internet. Matter of fact, if you can uh, comment down below if you know more about this uh, vehicle, where it came from. Uh, you know, this is why I started Roverland is uh, having one of Wednesdays like this where you... Yeah, that's you, uh, the viewers, subscribers, and and that uh, helped me out in finding out more about the history of, uh, you know, Land Rovers, you know? Uh, the, is this a copy from a real Land Rover, or is this a toy? Is this a fictional thing? Um, but yeah, and then, and then if you could, uh, go over to Facebook and uh, join the group over there, Facebook Roverland, and then you can post your pictures of what you've got in information. Instagram at Roverland Channel. Uh, that just come on over. Now, if you can notice, uh, like I said, I was taking a look at this and uh, trying to get more information out of here and, and stuff, but very, very nicely detailed. Uh, this has got a black dash. If you could see that, a black dash, and the interior is gray. So there's two different pieces in the interior, and uh, two-piece plastic tires, uh, deco all the way around, just unbelievable deco, um, you know, just just a, a nicely, nicely done. I mean, they even went on the roof and on the hood, front and back. I mean, holy cow, this thing... Um, must have been expensive to to make uh i mean uh, hot wheels uh when they do full deco like this those cars are you know six bucks plus you know i mean yeah they do have real riders on them uh rubber tires but just uh really a uh, nice car you know all right so this is the thing now i showed you the uh kid connection from walmart and this is what I thought this casting was. And I had done a video on this, and these are motor maxes. And I'll see if I can uh, tag the video up here about the motor max video I did. Uh, very neat. These uh, were mostly uh, from, you know, this kind of stuff, you know, these kind of things. And I thought that this, this, when I bought it was just another one of these, um, uh, redone motor maxes. Now, you know, they do this in plastic, you know, they, they do a lot of different stuff because, uh, one of these companies just kind of changes their names and they share the same casting, but check this out. This is a totally different casting. Uh, they may have used the, the same design, but it is bigger and, and, just you know just all around uh a better casting now they did change the base and stuff like that so it's not a motor max uh, or cheapy like that i mean this is uh this is a real toy and uh it's it's just bigger it's just bigger so you know once i got uh, one of these loose uh <laughs> the mystery became more and more um 
you know, puzzling, you know, it's just like, what in the world? So, all right, well, we're at the 15 minutes. I got to go. It's a uh, hump day Wednesday. So thanks for joining me today. Uh, like I say, come on over to Facebook to Roverland and Instagram, the Roverland channel, Instagram page, and uh, check it out. Let me know down below if you could in the comments uh, if you have any more information about the Auto Works discovery here, all right? All right, and I'm out of here. Thanks very much for joining me today, and as always, slow traffic, keep right. And have a great rover day.